All right, what's going on everybody? Got a super cool video here for you today. This is going to be a video on tension. Where do we want to be tension free? And also where do we want to create tension? Uh, so two very important topics in the golf swing right here. Uh, before we get into that, if you haven't watched my last video that I did, uh, please check that out. I also have a crash course for you on understanding impact. That's a free video for anybody who would like it. Link is down here below. And uh, let's go ahead and let's get right into it. So when we look at golf swings or if we look at movements in general, uh, number one, we need to be tension free in certain areas and we need to create tension in certain areas. Uh, the question is where and how do we do it? Also, why do we do it? So if we look at other sports right here, so like if I take baseball, if I take a batter as an example. So if we look at where a batter starts, they're up here and you'll see the handle of the bat or the bat right here is moving around like this. Number one question, number one, number one thing I always ask is why? Well, number one, when we're moving this around right here, that's actually creating energy. But I would say even more importantly right there, is that's giving us a feel of where the object actually is in space. I've never seen an MLB batter up here squeezing the bat as tight as they humanly can right there, okay? So there's going to be a happy medium inside of this though. It's like, uh, we wanna be tension free, but we don't wanna have stuff going everywhere. Like I don't want you to make a backswing and you look like an octopus swinging a spaghetti noodle. There needs to be some structure inside of it because everything still has to relate to the arc that we're on, the swing plane that we need to be on, how we can get the golf club back to impact. And so I've got some super cool ways that I would show you of how I've worked on this for myself, why I think it's important. And then we're also gonna go into where do we wanna create tension and why do we wanna create tension? So uh, I've done a video before on talking about the importance of being tension free and how we use this to feel where the golf club is. So. If we start to relate this to an overall motion, one of the first places that I like to go is I will take an alignment stick. Uh, so what's neat about using an alignment stick is we get a lot of auditorial feedback from where we're actually creating speed right there. We'll, we'll have kind of a whooshing noise, guy, and we can see what is efficient and also what is inefficient. So when I look at when I look at how a lot of players I think are trying to swing the golf club, I see a lot of players that are just trying to continue to turn, 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 turn forever. And what we're doing, we might be tension free to where I'm doing something like this and I'm just trying to continue to turn. Auditorially, you can hear the noise right there. It's not creating quite as much speed. So we still, what we're missing out when we see the player who just continues to move like this and turn, even if they're pushing, what we're missing out on is the unloading phase of what the golf club's doing. So when we look at this, if we took like cracking a whip, if we used that as an analogy or cracking a towel, well, what you'll notice is this is going to be tension free. It's gonna start down tension free. And by the time we get down here between P5 and P6, this is where we have to now start moving into an unloading phase. So the body's kind of done its work to get into a position to stabilize so that now the arms can actually create their speed right there. And so what that's doing is when the arms start to extend and flatline right here, that's taking all of the energy that we've built up in our backswing, built up in our transition, and giving us the ability right here to unload that. So like the unloading phase and where we're gonna use this video for from, a, from an instructional standpoint so that we can educate you a little bit more is we wanna see that unload phase happening right around P7, moving into P8 and moving up to P9. That is where the golf club is going from its fastest movements into a deceleration just like cracking a whip. So that deceleration, that's taking all of that energy and transferring it down the arms into the golf club, which is giving us that noise right there, okay? So when we look at ways that we can practice this, number one, we've gotta make sure that we're doing it inside of structure, okay? Because if we just go, and our arms are everywhere, probably not gonna have enough stability in the club to one, plane it out, and then B, be able to accelerate it 
directionally the way that we want to. So one of the things that I've used is a drill for myself that was super, super beneficial for one, helping me build a better and more solid foundation for my arm structure in the backswing, and also being able to use this on the way through as I take a lanyard. So wherever you set your arm structure here at setup, so you can see how close my arms are together, okay? So this is right in here. So this is going to be what I'm gonna set the width of this lanyard in so that I can transport that geometry around my body right there and unload it, okay? Now what I'm gonna use the lanyard for as well is I'm gonna use this in two, two ways right here. Number one, in my backswing, in my backswing here, I'm gonna be trying to keep tension off of it. I'm not going to be pulling and trying to create an, ex an internal movement of what the trail shoulder's doing where the arms would start to separate. I'm gonna keep the arms relatively together right here and working on keeping this tension free. So this right here in, in itself alone, this could be a drill just building awareness to what it feels like to have your trail shoulder externally rotated and keeping pressure off of this lanyard. Now the next place that I'm gonna use it is on the through side. When I go into my deceleration, which would be my unloading phase of the golf club right here, you can see this lanyard would basically be able to slide down my arm. So this is where my arms are working into this type of an extension position and it's an extension position where the arms are still with the chest. It's not getting the arms to disconnect from the chest right there. And this becomes a very beneficial training aid and also a way to work on where to create tension, where to be tension free, and doing it inside of a solid foundation from a structure standpoint. So I would go up here, work it down, accelerate it and stop it. And what you'll notice right here is if you watch my feet, when I'm in here, my feet are really gripping the ground right here. Like there's not inside of this drill, there's not gonna be a lot of verticals. This is more so going to be, we're trying to get the body into a stabilized position so that we can actually unload the arm. So if we did one, did one right here, I'm gonna do a slow tension free all the way around first. So I'd be here, there would be kind of a slow tension free one right there. And as we start to get more comfortable with it, then we can start to put the gas on. So I'm gonna be working it up tension free, filling it down to here tension free, and then putting the gas on and trying to feel on the way through here like we're losing that pressure on the lanyard, like we're not trying to pull the lead arm away from it. The arms are actually staying together right here. So if I moved one a little bit faster here, we'd be here, I'd work it back. And that would be more of what the look would be right there, okay? I'm gonna do that again one more time. So again, here's my feel tension free working it down and I'm gonna try and get it to decelerate right here by this P8, P9 position so I can actually check my arm structure here. Would be in here. And there would be more of what my look would be. Okay, and those golf balls are ripped for what feels like a fairly simple and fairly effortless motion right there for me. So this right here, an alignment stick. These are some very, very good tools that you can use to educate yourself on how to create a structure, where to be tension free in the backswing, and where we want to create tension to help stabilize the golf club down through the hitting area. So, uh, hope you guys give that a go. If you have any questions on any of this information, please leave it in the comment section down below. I will do my absolute best to get back to each and every one of you. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support, and we'll see you next time.